Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Rafit coming back at you with one last assassin build for the season 5. Today we're going to be rocking the Majolner with the Blunderbuss and what I call the Thunderbuss build. This by far has the highest damage output from any build that I've made in season 5 by all means. People keep saying that the Blunderbuss can't one shot, they obviously haven't tried this build. So give this build a shot, guys, and try it out, and you'll see. <laughs> the damage output is just absolutely cracked. All right, so with the standard setup that you're going to want to utilize when it comes to opening up, you're going to want a net shot always for an opener to apply slow and exhaust to them. From there, you can go in, if you're close enough, with a hammer using a heavy into a gavel or a heavy into an armor breaker. Either of those are really beneficial because the gavel will give you a 30% weaken and the armor breaker will give you a 30% rend. So either way, it's going to be giving you the edge entering into the fight. From there, they're probably going to dodge a few times, try to get away from you. You can always drop a nades on them and then a shrapnel blast auto. It's a really powerful combo. If you can't manage to kill them from there, you'll usually have your net shot back up, net shot again into another auto. So. Again, this is a pretty relentless uh, combo when it comes to the amount of damage that you can continually output. With that being said, let's go ahead and move into the attributes. We're gonna be rocking 350 strength, 150 int, and only 105 con. Yes, I know, squishy. But you also gotta keep in account the amount of fortify that you're gonna get out of the BB and the hammer. And so the amount of con, eh, kinda irrelevant. BB is almost as good as the hatchet when it comes to the berserk factor. Maybe not as strong because you can't defy death, but it does have a really strong fortify once you proc below 50% health. Now that being said, with the 150 int, you are gonna get the 10% elemental damage and the 10% damage to light and heavy elemental attacks. So that includes BB autos and hammer heavies and light attacks. All right, and blunderbuss weapon mastery. We are going to be going with the unload, the extra pellets for higher burst damage. You are going to want to make sure you grab last chance. That is what's going to make sure that you don't die when you get below 50% health. And Warhammer Mastery. And last but not least, gear. So we got the spark. Trenchant Strikes. If I could do Lightning Attunement instead of Nature, I would. Also keep in mind you can't do any sort of shirking damage with this build if you're running Nature's Wrath. So the next best thing is going to be Attunement. Stone Form, again, because you're super squishy, this is going to be a must. My Budget Amulet. Again, lightning damage to the max is our goal. Fortifying toast instead of empowering toast because I'm running nature's wrath. Net shot, kind of a must when it comes to putting it on your gear. Now I will say you could drop net shot off of gear and put it on your BB instead of say Attunement, but I would recommend keeping Plague Crits and Enchanted on it. Having that Plague really helps keep healers from healing themselves back up. Also take note, we will be rocking a full set of Electrified Rune Glass to boost the lightning damage in our hammer due to the fact that 99% of it is converted into lightning damage. And our BB due to the fact that 50% of our damage is going to be converted into lightning damage. Now you'll see my auto attacks with the BB will hit for like 150 thrust damage and then the electric damage or the lightning damage will be anywhere from 300 to 350. So the lightning damage is just massive for the BB and overall resistance. All right, guys, that is it. That is the build. That is the juicy meat and potatoes. If you guys have any further questions about the build, please feel free to drop a comment below and I'll be answering them as fast as I can for you guys. Also, just a quick mention, we do have memberships, super chats, and super stickers if you guys ever want to support me a little bit further. Until next time, guys, I appreciate y'all, and I'll see y'all on the battlefield.
Peace.